Okay, so one of the key elements of this template is setting up the comments growth tool to automatically reply to comments on all or specific posts. Now to set this up, and if you want to set up a new one or a different one down the track, we've already got a template set up for you in the starting step here. But if you want to do this down the track, all you need to do is go to that starting step and add a particular trigger. Now, because this is an Instagram flow that is going to Instagram messages, it will automatically default to give you the options that you can choose to be able to reply via Instagram. If this was a messenger or I had a messenger and Instagram messages in it, it would go to all triggers. To find this one though, you simply go to the Instagram section and then we're selecting the Instagram comments tool which is what we've set up here. Now, the most important point, and this is a really important point to remember about this comment growth tool. The tool can only be used on regular posts. That is posts that are posted to your Instagram profile on the news feed. So it won't work for Instagram ads, it won't work for Instagram reels or IGTV posts at the moment. That's a limitation of the Instagram API. We're hoping that that changes, but that is the one caveat that you need to remember before setting this up. So we'll go through this one that we've previously set up before. And when you add it for the first time, it'll be given a generic name, growth tool number, whatever order it is in your mini chat account. It's a good practice to change this name and give it a name that you will remember something that will make it easier to find and edit or duplicate down the track. Now, the first option you're given is what posts you want this to be triggered on. It will default to all posts. So any posts that are on your profile, whether it be in the future or in the past, based on what the options you set down here, this will send an automatic reply once it's live. Another option you've got, which is a really good option when you're going to be running promotions or competitions and you're planning to launch that promotion or competition, then you can select next post. So then that makes sure that as soon as that post is published, it will automatically be triggering and you don't need to come back to ManyChat and set it up and find that post uh, after it's been published. Nor do you need to select all posts to make sure that it's uh, triggered on you know, every single post. And there could be confusions with past posts as well if there's any similar comments on those posts as well. The other option you've got is selecting a previous post or a specific post that's already on your Instagram profile. By selecting this post, it will bring up a list of profile posts that you've published recently and you can select that specific one. So you've got the three options there that you need to choose. Then on the next one, you can choose whether to exclude this reply happening on particular comments with particular words, or you can trigger to make sure it only is fired when there is a particular keyword in that comment. For instance, if you're asking someone or your followers to comment win or send it to me or a keyword that you want them to type in the comments, then you can leave that triggered keyword in there as well. You can use both of these options together or it really depends on what sort of promotion or reply you want to be able to send. This can really differ depending on whether it's an ongoing promotion campaign or also if you wanna get some open-ended answers from people. Now this is a really interesting tactic that some people do when instead of asking for a particular keyword to be sent, they might leave this open and they might ask an open-ended question such as if it's a particular product, uh, let's say it's a fashion product where they may ask, you know, where would you wear one of these or what style can you see uh, you wearing or, uh, you know, what event have you got coming up? Or maybe if it's tagging a friend, it could be, you know, tag a friend that you would want to share this with. And then they can leave an open-ended comment in the comments on that particular post. And that will, that reply will just simply trigger to all of them. So it is a good way to be able to garner some anecdotal evidence from your followers and people to engage naturally on the post, but it can be a little bit more difficult for users to come up with a reply that they might use. So it's totally up to you which option you wanna choose. Then when we hit the next button, you've got the option to send have some variations of replies to those comments. And this is good, particularly early on when you're using this tactic because some people aren't expecting to get a reply from your Instagram profile when they leave a comment 
on that post. So it's good to be able to let them know what's going to happen next. So, and having some variation so it doesn't look like you're leaving the same comment and then it's clearly a bot. And this is a great um, feature in ManyChat where you can add multiple variations and it will rotate through each of them. So it can be things like, thanks for the comment, we sent you a DM with more information, or hey, we've sent you a DM to confirm your details, or you've got mail, check your inbox for more. Variations of things like that and telling them what they need to do next, particularly if it's a con confirmation in a competition entry. It could be, thanks for your comment, we sent you a DM to confirm your entry or to collect your details and confirm your entry in the competition or to get the um, offer or discount or promo code, whatever it is you can put in these replies here. Once you have set this up for the actual um, uh, the trigger itself, you will then be limited on what you can actually put in this first reply here. Now, when you go to click uh, connect this comment growth tool, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Instagram, ManyChat will automatically notice that you're using this kind of growth tool. And so it will limit what you can put in a reply based on this growth tool. And you will actually need to tell ManyChat and Instagram that this is a reply to Instagram comments. And it will automatically block out all of these different options here because there are limitations that Facebook and Meta and Instagram put on what you can say in this reply. And the basis of this is that they want to confirm that users actually want to hear from you and it is up to them to take the next step to be able to send more of the detailed information and dynamic creative such as images and files and stuff like that. So we're limited to basic text and a simple quick reply. So you want to keep this really simple and really basic to be able to entice them to be able to hit the button and tell them what to do. You know, confirm your entry in the competition. We just need to grab some details from you. Tap the button below to begin your entry. Now you'll see in the rest of this flow that after they confirm that they want to hear from you, we add some information and we then redirect them back to the main entry competition or collecting data flow. We want as many people to go through that as possible, but setting this up separately also means that we aren't limited to just the text and the quick replies for the rest of our messages. So we get the confirmation that they want to hear from us, we add some data to them here, and then we send them to the spot where they're going to give us that information. So once you've updated the text and the copy and made the changes to the messages going back to them, updated any of those tags or custom fields, as well as the replies and settings in the growth tool here, Final step, once you make changes, make sure you hit publish. And then lastly, make sure that over on the growth tool, you click into it and you actually switch it on to make sure that it's working and you're good to go. And this flow is a really simple tactic to be able to capitalize on that increased engagement and setting this up properly can ensure that you can duplicate it, copy it, and have some really powerful competitions, engaging promotions, and collect more of the user information and database in the future.